It is not out of the ordinary for supercars to be pompously announced and then never produced. This is the fate that may or may not be waiting for the models from today's lineup. These newcomers have been delayed for far too long, and we are in doubts whether their production will finally commence. So let's revisit the most anxiously anticipated supercars of the upcoming model years and remind their developers to hurry up. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring that notification bell to help us break through your YouTube feed, and let's start the engines. Devil 16 Remember this devilish hypercar that was presented by Shmi at the 2017 Dubai International Motor Show? Well, it appears that the developers and financial backers of this project have not abandoned it just yet and are still aiming to build a 5000 horsepower mega car. The Devel 16 has an aluminum high resistance monocoque, fully adjustable billet arms double wishbone suspension, and a full carbon fiber body. Presumably, the updated lineup of the mysterious newcomer shall include three versions a base model with a 2000 horsepower V8 engine, a street legal V16 engine set to 3006 horsepower and 2407 pound feet of torque, and a track only monster with a quad turbo 12.3 liter V16 engine set to 5,007 HP and 3,757 pound-feet. If these numbers sound unrealistic, well, they are. Nevertheless, the UAE-based manufacturer continues the charade, and we have already seen a couple of clips of the prototype on the roads. So who knows, maybe a true legend in the history of supercars is indeed in the making. Mercedes AMG 1 Mercedes is adamant that its AMG 1 hypercar will be delayed just one less time. We've been waiting for this car since 2017, when it was revealed by the company's Formula 1 driver, Lewis Hamilton, who later participated in its development and prototype testing. The final production date is scheduled for the late 2022, but the long anticipation should be worth it, since Mercedes gives the 1 its actual Formula 1 engine. The 1.6-liter Turbo V6 revs to 11,000 RPM and in this model gets aided by a hybrid system of four electric motors. There is a turbo-mounted generator, another one linked to the crankcase, and two more for powering the front wheels. The latter, together with the engine, form the all-wheel drive system and allow the total powertrain output of 1,000 horsepower. Of course, the setup could not be complete without a battery pack, which is a 10 kWh unit with 800V architecture. In addition to its unique drivetrain, the one gets a curious aero package with a huge fish fin spoiler, a rooftop air intake, and a two-section rear diffuser. Lastly, its two-seater cockpit comes packed with race equipment and two freestanding screens, each with a 10-inch diagonal. Hennessy Venom F5 The world had found out about the Hennessy Special Vehicle's plans to develop a successor to the record-setting Venom GT in 2014. Then followed a 2017 mock-up, and finally the production version is slated for 2023. Its name was derived from the fastest tornado on the Fujita scale that produces wind speeds between 261 and 318 miles per hour. The F5 sits on an ultralight carbon fiber monocoque that weighs 190 pounds, while in total it tips the scales at just 2,998. The new Venom draws power from a mid mounted, 90 degree turbocharged V8 that is dubbed the Fury. This 6.6 liter mill peaks at 1,817 horses and 1,193 pound feet, which results in a power to weight ratio of 1,298 horses per ton. The hypercar gets five driving modes, and in the craziest F5, it can theoretically reach 311 miles per hour top speed, though Hennessy have not announced their intentions to actually go for the record speed run. The Venom has butterfly doors, leather and carbon fiber cabin with bucket seats, and a race ready cockpit with a Formula One steering wheel and a 9 inch Alpine touchscreen. Only 24 units will be produced, and all of them have already been claimed by the future buyers. Koenigsegg Gimira 
It feels like we just reported on the reveal of the first Koenigsegg four-seater during the cancelled 2020 Geneva Auto Show, but actually, it has already been two years. The 300 unit exclusive family hypercar has been postponed once again, now until 2023. The Grand Tour is brought into motion by a plug-in hybrid system that consists of three electric motors, a 15 kWh battery pack with 800V architecture, and the so-called tiny-friendly giant engine. The 2.0-liter twin-turbo three-cylinder is a camless piston engine that weighs just 150 pounds and holds up to the zero-emission standards since it runs on clean ethanol or methanol. The combined power output of the system is 1700 horsepower and 2581 pound-feet of torque. The Gamera can cover up to 31 miles in the pure electric mode, but where it really shines is the unstoppable GT cruising potential to the distance of 625 miles. The interior of the car offers perfect accommodation for four passengers with memory foam heated sports seats, an 11 speaker sound system, and a set of screens for both front and rear occupants. That like button cannot stay unclicked any longer. Make sure to smash it and let's keep rolling! Tesla Roadster This is the first supercar to set every performance record and still fit seating for four. This is one of the taglines that Tesla uses to hype the upcoming Roadster 2.0 even though after its surprise reveal in 2017, it has been completely out of sight. As per Elon's latest tweet on the topic, the newcomer will be delayed until 2023 due to the supply chain issues. For now, we can explore the rest of the titles that are being attached to it prematurely. Among them, the world's cheapest, quickest and longest-range electric hypercar. The new Roadster has a removable glass roof that stores in the trunk and has a computer-generated aerodynamic design. It is likely to adopt Tesla's latest tri-motor all-wheel drive powertrain and new generation 4680 battery cells. Its 200 kWh battery pack should provide unprecedented 620 miles or 1000 km range at highway speeds. Among the estimated numbers are 0 to 60 acceleration of 1.9 seconds, 8.9 seconds quarter mile time, and 250 miles per hour top speed. Moreover, the eccentric CEO has mentioned a bonkers SpaceX package with actual rocket thrusters that will cut the acceleration time to 1.1 seconds. Aston Martin Valhalla Aston Martin's Norse duo Valkyrie and Valhalla have been plagued by the constant development hiccups. While the former has finally begun production, the Valhalla currently carries an estimated delivery date of 2024. The son of Valkyrie has a super lightweight carbon fiber monocoque chassis and implements aerodynamic and electronics expertise forged in Formula One. It rides on mismatched 20 and 21 inch wheels with carbon ceramic matrix brakes and its body can generate 1,320 pounds of downforce at 115 pH. Unlike previously anticipated, this Aston will not be getting an in-house developed powertrain featuring a 3-liter twin-turbo V6 with a coarse hybrid battery from Remitz. Instead, the car sources a not less exciting plug-in hybrid system from Mercedes-AMG. It incorporates a rear mid-mounted 4-liter twin-turbo V8 that drafts to 7200 rpm and develop 750 HP on its own. When combined with a two-motor 400V battery hybrid system, the output reaches 950 HP. This is a rear-wheel drive hypercar, but electric motors can redistribute power between axles for the maximum control. The Valhalla can accelerate to 80 mph in the electric mode with 9 miles of range. But when the full power is unleashed, it reaches 217 mph and does 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Aspark Owl Aspark came to existence in 2005 in Osaka, Japan as an engineering services provider. But in 2017, the company's founder and CEO Misenori Yoshida chose to pivot towards the automotive niche. The Owl is Aspark's inaugural project that initially had rather humble specifications, 
but by the end of the development process has evolved into one of the world's quickest and most powerful hypercars. The model's ultralight single-piece monocoque is made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic and it is fitted with a fully adjustable hydraulic double wishbone suspension. The key exterior features of the Owl are a huge active spoiler, which pops out at 93 mph, falcon wing doors, and extremely low height of just 39 inches. Four permanent magnet synchronous motors generate insane 2012 horsepower and 1,475 pound feet of torque. The two seater accelerate to 60 in just 1.69 seconds, and it tops out at 248 miles per hour. The Owl is juiced by a 64 kWh battery with 200 miles of range reserve, and the stopping power comes from carbon ceramic brakes on each corner. As of 2022, a 50 units production deal with the Italy's Manufattura Automobili Torino has been confirmed, so in the nearest future, we might finally witness these night predators ascend on the European and North American roads.